The new Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 EPTU patch just dropped not too long ago. This time is for Wave 3, but has the potential of going to Wave 4 in the next couple hours after monitoring. For features and gameplay under the location category, they made further distribution center lighting, LOD, and performance polish pass. Under gameplay, they did an interior map update. It says hooked up the rest of the unified UI overlay for the interior map, new opacity mask for map material to further aid readability for UI panels, turned on auto brightness for star map edge markers. They made friendly markers fade out after 50 meters. Also under weapons and items, salvage standalone tool balance pass has also been done. The standalone salvage tool has undergone a complete balance pass to improve its overall use. They doubled the range, then the multi-tool increased gathering and repair speed, allowed to repair a little higher than normal multi-tool, less efficient, high loss of material when gathering, and allowed toggle to fire. Interesting. Good. I like the uh, this effort because it does make it a little bit more unique because currently, uh, before this, it's uh, there was no difference really. Uh, between the two uh, the multi-tool and this one so it's good um for crafting and filler station update they added the cambio srt container empty and full to the filler station crafting list in the vulture and reclaimer under general fps salvage changes they allowed repair in green zone allow gathering to continue with the ammo container being full for the cure life medical gun They've added interaction pose, moving the gun closer to the camera to make the screen elements more visible, made the UI elements always interactable, and it fixed issues where you could not interact with the med gun screen in the heal target mode. Under ships and vehicles, they add quite a few ships to the in-game shop. The Fury MX and LX, the Lynx Rover, Hall C, nice, Spirit A1, Cutter Scout and Rambler, the Sulin Spirit C1 SRV, nice. Storm and Storm AA, the Santak Ye, and the X1 Base Force and Velocity. Really excited. These are some ships I want to get in game, so I have something to aim for. On the Cortec, they made further server performance optimizations, AI navigation performance optimizations, physics performance optimizations, planetary streaming performance optimizations and further Vulcan polish pass has also been done there's a few bug fixes along with this one as well player hud including ar ui markers are missing that's an issue that's been fixed they also fixed an issue where legacy and new hangar ar markers are visible when players retrieve a ship from the asap i did notice that for a few patches actually so i'm glad that's fixed shopping card appears out of frame with display ships that's been fixed they also fixed an issue where dynamic crosshair do not function with certain weapons they fixed an issue where fps hud does not show that the player is bleeding out they fixed another issue where the ui elements of group qt appears to be inaccurate or missing they fixed an issue where scrolling through a large list of contracts caused the list to move out of the player's view they fixed an issue where ai can seemingly get stuck and stay inside of a spawn closet. They fixed an issue for distribution centers where the delivery mission for distribution centers cannot be shared. They fixed an issue where the team game modes are not auto balanced, which forces all players into the same team. Now this is for reading commander. They fixed an issue where Copian will ragdoll, slide across the ground just after being killed. They fixed an issue where Copian are jittering and teleporting when running. They fixed an issue where coping creatures do not move or attack players. They fixed an issue where the Talon Strike has size 4 guns by default. And they fixed an issue where the fixed tutorial mission getting stuck in phase 2 after dying or crashing. So now this is for the new player experience. Along with this, there's 5 client crashes and 9 server crashes. As Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 is getting close to its release, it's very crucial to be a part of an organization that's willing to guide you through and teach you the ropes. If you are interested, you can check out my organization, Phase 1 Industries. You can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.